Hi, I'm Jamie Sorcher for TWICE. Thanks for joining us today. We are discussing for our special report, the launch of THX Onyx. With me to discuss this exciting launch is Jason Fiber, COO and Senior Vice President of THX, and Andrew Mason, Senior Staff Engineer, Product Development. Also THX, thank you both for being here. Happy to be here. Happy to be here, Jamie. This is so exciting. So first of all, Jason, let's start with you. Can you give me a little bit of background just on who you are? Sure. Um, well, I'm Jason Fiber. I'm the CEO of THX, as you mentioned. I've been with the company a little over five years. Um, in that role, I oversee the entire operation of the company, from our certification and cinema business and consumer electronics to our spatial audio and, of course, AAA businesses, of which we're very excited to talk about Onyx. Um, my background primarily has been the music business, so I come in through you know, understanding artists and content from that side of it, and uh, have been working to try to keep the uh, quality of content as high as possible via the work we do at THX. And I'm happy to uh, talk to you about Onyx today. Great, thank you so much. Andrew, your turn. <laughs> Great, yeah, my name is Andrew. I've been with THX uh, just over five years as well. Uh, I'm the lead engineer on the research and development team at THX, so where we uh, work on spatial audio and AAA audio and other audio uh, research and development programs in the works. Um, I'm also the lead engineer on the AAA Amplifier program. You must be very busy. You probably don't get much sleep. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It's and it's. I'm a kid in a sandbox, and there's, there's always a something cool to to try out or to work on. That's great. Probably doesn't even feel like work. You got it. <laughs> so, Jason, back to you. History of THX. A little bit about the roots, the mission. What's next? Sure. So I think most people hopefully know THX from our past. We were birthed by Lucasfilm back in the uh, 80s. We worked with a lot of uh, cinemas originally to certify the rooms, make sure that the picture was perfect, the sound was perfect, the experience was great. Uh, that's really where the brand started. Um, over the years, uh, the company's evolved. So while it was still under the domain of Lucasfilm, it expanded to certify consumer electronics. So uh, home amplifiers, home speakers, a lot of home theater products. Um, eventually, Lucasfilm sold the company, um, and to make a very long story short, it's now owned by Razor. Uh, we continue our mission in terms of high quality entertainment uh, through consumer electronics and cinema, but of course have grown to also include technologies like spatial audio and AAA as well. And so in the present, we continue our earlier mission, um, but now we're focused on more personal products for personal listening, um, both, like I said, in terms of our THX spatial audio products that are in laptops, mobile phones, uh, and consumer electronics, as well as the AAA program. And uh, as you well know, we introduced our first AAA product, which is actually the first THX branded product, the uh, THX Onyx, which is a DAC amplifier. For uh, those who aren't aware what a DAC amplifier is, you connect it to your device and it converts the digital signal to an analog signal and then uh, amplifies it using our custom THX uh, AAA amplifier for the best possible personal audio uh, over headphones and overpowered desktop speakers. What was the catalyst for creating the product? So we saw that we were successful in licensing our AAA technologies to partners, but um, things were moving a little slower than we were hoping. Um, and we realized that the world of high quality audio and portable devices was coming on quickly, as a lot of the uh, entertainment streaming media companies were introducing lossless audio and then a high res audio. We wanted to have a product that worked well we looked at the landscape of other products in the market and saw that we had something unique that we could bring that elevated the performance and elevated the quality and uh, realized this was the opportunity for us to introduce something that could not only serve as a product for THX, but also as a reference design for those customers interested in doing something similar. So we could preserve the relationships we have with existing customers, but also begin to uh, integrate the THX brand from a consumer perspective as a product in addition to the certification mark that we've had over the years. Just curious, how long was this in development? The concept stage uh, took a couple of months to, to put together what, what we were uh, trying to accomplish with this. And uh, once we had the concept uh, nailed down, um, we hit the ground running. Uh, it took, took about a six months uh, development cycle to develop the Onyx, which is quite fast in the electronics world. Typical other consumer electronics products take, take nine, nine to 12 months to develop. Uh, both Onyx, we had we had done uh, bits and pieces of it uh, so many times for other, other partners, other customers, that um, it was just a matter of putting those things together and then doing them extremely well, as, as we always try to do. Um, and uh, we had 
great manufacturing partners to help us accomplish that. And uh, we were able to execute on, on a really solid product, um, solid physically in the sense of the industrial design is great. The all metal housing is, is very robust. You can, you can take it with you, you can beat on it and you won't hurt it. Um, but also extremely solid in terms of the audio quality itself that comes out of the product. And, and you power. just put up a point that it is geared for on the go. It features this AAA technology, which Jason had spoken of. Tell us a little bit about that. Explain that. Sure. So uh, as Jason alluded to, uh, every headphone itself is an analog device. It needs, it needs a, a powered signal um, with, with significant voltage and current to drive the headphone. Um, but a lot of the typical uh, uh, chip amplifiers on the, on the market, whether they're in, inside of a phone or inside of Bluetooth headphones, uh, they're not very powerful. So they can't really drive the, uh, the headphones that, that you would want to listen to, very high quality uh, studio grade headphones. With, with AAA, um, that is our achromatic audio amplifier. It's the world's most linear amplifier technology. Um, we have the specs to back that up, the measurements to back that up. Um, AAA, how it works and what's unique about it is, is it uses feed forward error correction in addition to feedback, whereas nearly every other amplifier on the market uses strictly feedback. By using that combination, we're able to get extremely low levels of distortion and noise at the output of the amplifier and extremely high output power uh, when necessary. So we can get the best of both worlds, very high output power and extremely high fidelity at the same time. Whereas other amplifier, uh, other, other product manufacturers usually have to choose one or the other and compromise on one of the two. So in other words, if I hear like a Bruce Springsteen song and I wanna crank it up, I don't have to worry about distortion at all. That's right, AAA, you can play it loudly and, and uh, you'll get the full dynamics, all the power. It's got more than enough power to spare. Um, but it will also reveal all the uh, delicate dynamics of, of uh, music at lower signal levels or quiet portions of the music or, or, or classical or jazz or other recordings where it's very dynamic. And not just music, um, a, lot of, a lot of cinematic pieces, a lot of uh, movies um, have very quiet dialogue portions where there's quiet dialogue or whispering happening. And then of course the big dynamics when, when the action scene starts, um, you know, whether it's a Marvel movie or, or, or some drama, there's, there's always that range of dynamics and it's, it's, it's ever present in, in all the, the video that we consume, uh, Netflix, movies, in addition to, to music. You make we should add, it's also a great product for gaming as well. So, you know, as games are all, you know, on, on screen, the audio is an extraordinarily important part of that audio experience. And so one of the things that's unique about Onyx is that it also enables the microphone. And so you can use it as a gaming product attached to your PC, get the best quality audio via Onyx into your headphones, but also continue to use the chat channel the way you would um, with another product. So it really does make a great pair for, you know, audio for music, audio for video, and of course, audio for gaming as well. You know, we're seeing that from the gamers. They're, they're telling us, they're giving us the feedback that they love the mic feature, as Jason mentioned. They can they can participate in the game chat or or, or Discord chat while they're playing and using the Onyx. And additionally, they they love that love 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 the dynamic range. They can turn it up loudly and they can hear enemies' footsteps, distant footsteps, very very faint from far away. Um, and then and then when when the, the bullets start flying, they they get the, those impactful punches as well uh, that Onyx can deliver. So it can deliver both. So. Andrew, why would this be compelling for audio manufacturers if they want to license this technology? Yeah, um, AAA really has, has a, a, a twofold core offering. One is it enables uh, much higher output power levels. That's, that's higher voltage and higher current than, than uh, typical chip amplifiers can provide. Um, the other one is it does that with, with extremely low uh, power consumption. So you don't, you don't necessarily pay a power penalty or a size penalty. AAA shrinks down to a very, very small package as, as Onyx emulates. Um, in addition to that, uh, AAA also has extremely low noise floor and low distortion levels. Um, very, very low. Um, AAA is, is, is the lowest distortion amplifier technology in the world. So it's, it's capable of, of extremely low uh, levels of distortion, uh, which translates to high fidelity and, and uh, high quality. So what else makes this unique in the marketplace? I know there's an ESS chip, there's MQA technology, the mic support. Share a little bit about, from your perspective, why this is different than anything else out there. Sure. So we've, we've managed to uh, squeeze Onyx into a, an all-metal chassis. So it's, it's quite robust, and it offers some additional shielding against electromagnetic interference, like interference from a cell phone or other electronics nearby. 
Um, but the product is extremely lightweight. Despite that all metal chassis, we've machined away uh, from a solid block of aluminum, machined the aluminum out from the inside. So the whole thing is extremely light and the weight of it just disappears into the weight of, of the cable coming off your headphones. So you don't even notice it. Um, so it's, it, it, it becomes like part of the cable itself. Um, additionally, we have a cable management feature. There's a magnet inside of both ends of the Onyx. So it can, it can loop back and clip to itself, forming a loop. Um, that can be used to manage a, a bundle of headphone wires, um, or it can be used just to, for example, clip Onyx to, um, to a belt buckle or clip it to a, a purse or some other strap on a bag. Um, so it makes, makes it quite a versatile device. Truly on the go, like we said. Yeah, it is. Yep. And, and we're getting feedback from uh, customers as well that they like it, that they can use it on the go and without a compromise, but when they get home, they can plug it into their PC or their Mac and it acts like a very, very high quality uh, headphone amplifier for that desktop application. So they can use one product to accomplish uh, both feats. So whether it's a powered studio monitors or a powered 2.1 speaker system at your computer, um, THX Onyx can act like a very high quality digital to analog converter stage and preamp for that system, providing very, very low noise and uh, high fidelity digital to analog conversion for those powered speakers. Okay. All right, Jason, I'm going to jump back to you for a second here. How are entertainment experiences evolving for the consumer? What do you see happening now? I think we're going to see a uh, hybrid as, you know, as, as we evolve, you know, both based on what's been happening in the world for the last year and a half. And the fact that a lot of entertainment has moved online to screens as opposed to in person. Um, I think there's a significant number of folks that are going to continue to want to receive that entertainment in a more intimate environment but will want the experience of being in a larger group. Um, I think you'll see things like AI and VR um, and uh, AR taking a greater role in delivering entertainment. Uh, and so things like spatial audio and better quality audio will become much more important to be able to give you that sense of realism. And then of course, the uh, remainder will continue to want the actual live experience, um, you know, where there might arguably be less danger of, you know, um, whatever the danger is, be it, you know, disease or, you know, whatever else happens. Um, I do think that you're going to see a lot more of uh, entertainment being delivered at home. And so people will continue to upgrade their home-based experience, be it, you know, a return to high quality home theater or return or, or simply expanding on the entertainment that they've been receiving on their mobile device, be it their phone, their tablet, their laptop, or their desktop PC. And so I think you're going to want that sense of community and that sense of connection um, and having avatars and the kind of virtual 3D world combined with the power of a spatial audio type experience will be, I think, where a lot of this is headed as we move more and more into a world that's, you know, arguably more um, separate and then sort of pulled back together through technology. So the communal experience of the movie theater, the concert, you think those things may have been permanently changed by Change, but not eliminated, right? I think you see a lot of, um, you know, features being added to a lot of these streaming services, like, you know, watch together yes. um, and the ability to, you know, share entertainment experiences amongst your peer group and potentially amongst strangers, but doing it without having to physically be there. You know, maybe you're not, you know, maybe you don't want to wear a mask or maybe you're just nervous about being in a public space or maybe you're just tired or maybe you just simply have evolved or, um, you know, migrated your taste from wanting to be in person, but enjoying the sort of solitude of being in a space with, you know, a few number of people, but still wanting to share that. It makes sense. Okay. So Andrew, last thoughts, anything you want to wrap up with? Yeah, just uh, very excited to see uh, the confluence of, of gaming and high quality audio um, really come together. And, and, and we feel a product like Onyx really enables that. Um, so it's a great little product, versatile little building block for your audio system. Um, and for the audio lover uh, in, in your life, it's, it's, it's a great gift idea as well. Okay. You know, you make an excellent point. Um, you're probably already thinking about Onyx 2.0. Am I right? Or you can't we tell? are. We are. We've got a few things uh, in, in the works. Uh, nothing imminent, though. Okay. Well, that's exciting. We will be checking back with you for more details on that. Jason, uh, anything you'd like to wrap up with? Some final thoughts. Well, first of all, thanks for having us. You know, we're really excited to have won the Twice uh, Product Award. And so we're really excited to be, you know, uh, receiving that accolade and, um, you know, shared amongst a number of other great products uh, and other winners. So that's uh, really exciting for us. Um, and as we move forward, like I said, I think, 
you know, the combination of great quality audio from a reproduction standpoint, as well as an immersion standpoint from THX Spatial Audio is a great combination. And THX will continue to push quality um, as the first uh, important feature with the various products that we both, you know, that we certify, that we, uh, you know, collaborate with and that we make. And so we're excited to see, you know, how these products are used by customers and consumers in the future, be it for content or be it for hardware. So just keep an eye on THX as we evolve our offerings from, you know, simple hardware devices to, you know, tools for content creation and content creators. Um, so we can really work on the quality aspect from creation to, uh, you know, the ultimate listening and viewing standpoint. Excellent. Now, where can people go for more information on everything we talked about today? Well, of course, it's THX.com. Uh, for those that are of a certain age, that's going to bring back a lot of memories for them. And for those that are younger, just think about how you say thanks in a text, in a te a text message, and uh, there you are. So everything can be found at THX.com. Thank you for being so clever. Uh, <laughs> we appreciate your time. We It's a thrill to have THX here to talk to us about this. We are excited about the launch of the first consumer product, and we hope it is the first of many, many more. Thank you Literally. both for your time. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy.